Welcome to News at Marian. I am Sultana Hamid with the latest news headlines. Multiple explosions heard in Kyiv, Ukraine says 137 civilians and soldiers killed so far. IFFK to kick off on March 18th. Any sustainable innovation should be a fine blend of art and technology, says Mr. Suresh Nambudiri, the chief director of Espoir Technologies, Pune. Renowned Malayalam actress KPSC Lalita leaves off screen. News in detail. Multiple explosions heard in Kyiv. Ukraine says 137 civilians and soldiers killed so far. Ukraine has cut off diplomatic relations with Russia after Moscow launched an all-out invasion of Ukraine by land, air and sea yesterday. This is the biggest attack by one state against another in Europe since Second World War. Following the multiple explosions heard in Kyiv yesterday, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said, 137 people, including 10 military officers, have been killed and 316 people injured so far. Meanwhile, US President Joe Biden said Washington will intervene if Putin moves into NATO countries. If the Russian counterpart is not stopped now, he will be emboldened, said Biden. IFFK to kick off on March 18th. The 26th edition of the International Film Festival of Kerala will be held from 18th March to 25th March at Trivandrum. There will be 14 screens and 200 films in the 26th edition. The festival's highlight will be the films depicting life in conflict countries, including Afghanistan, Burma and Kurdistan. The chairperson of the Kerala State Salicitra Academy, Mr. Renju, said that all preparations are being made considering COVID protocol. As part of Department of Communication and Media Studies curriculum, students from the Department of MCMS of Marian College would be participating in the film festival. A special supplement of Novita would be published on 18th March and will be circulated among the participants at Trivandrum. So we have here Professor M. Vijay Gumar, the Director of MCM's Department. Hello, sir. The 26th edition of uh, IFFK is going to be held on March 18 to 25 at Trivandrum. So uh, the students from our department, the MCM's Department, is also participating and they are presenting a newsletter known as Novita. So what all are the preparations going on? We have been doing it for the last four years. For the IFFK, we have already published uh, four IFFK specials. In the previous years, we have been focusing on IFFK only. And this time, we are focusing on cinema as such, as an art. Uh, because, you know, uh, that people have to be sensitized about cinema in the country. Uh, because, you know, we have an opportunity at the IFFK to watch films. This is a festival which gives importance to Latin American films and Asian films. Because now these films cannot be cannot get an opportunity elsewhere. Therefore, uh, we have need to have an opportunity to witness a great festival of films. It is a celebration of films, and we are part of that. And uh, next year onwards, we will also publish IFFI special. Okay, thank you so much. Sri Suresh Nambudri, Director of Espoir Technologies, visited Marian College yesterday. An MTech in Manufacturing Engineering, Sri Suresh has designed four cars for Tata Motors and several consumer electronic products for various companies in India and abroad. For the last 17 years, he has been engaged in education research in the higher education sector. Sri Suresh spoke to the academics in Marian yesterday. Immediately after the meeting, News at Marian team met Sri Suresh Nambudiri. So we have here Mr. Suresh Nambudiri, the Chief Director and Mentor of Espoir Technologies Private Limited Pune. Hello, sir. Hello. So, sir, you're a person who blends art with technology. So, what's your views or thoughts about it? It is like this. Uh, you think about Taj Mahal. Uh, Taj Mahal is a blend of art and technology. In my opinion, that if there is no art, there is no value for technology. And if there is no technology, there is no, uh, no sustainable life for art. So th that is the main, re main relationship between art and technology. For example, when you see a Honda car, whether you are seeing it as a machine or you are seeing it as, an, uh, it as a, um, a part of art, you are seeing it as a combination. And that combination is the success. Okay. Thank you, sir. That was so valuable and knowledgeable. So this is Alina Basil signing from Studio Marie.
Renowned Malayalam actress KPSC Lalitha leaves off screen. KPSC Lalitha, one of the most versatile actors of Malayalam cinema, passed away. She had been under treatment for various illness over the past few months. She breathed her last at Ernakulam on Tuesday night and she was 74. Lelida started her acting career through Geetha Arts Club stages and became an artist with KPAC Kayangulam. There are many iconic characters done by Lelida both in Malayalam and Tamil industry. She enacted the role of Narani only through her voice in Madhilugal directed by Adur Gopalakrishnan. The grace of the character is marvelously depicted just through her sound. KPAC Lelida has made the new term realistic presentation of a character on screen before years. Even though she is a shining star in the industry, she was always placed second or supporting roles when awards are announced. Her excellent portrayals in film industry are Amaram and Shandam, which got her the National Best Supporting Actors in 1990 and 2000, respectively. Neela Ponman, Aravam, Kadinyul Kalyanam, Godfather, Sandesham are the films which made her signature in the State Film Awards. Sports News Headlines Kelo India Center to build young players at Marian College Kutikanam. Marian Juventus wins the friendly cricket match. Sports news in detail Kelo India Center under Sports Authority of India has started to mentor young badminton players at Marian College Kutikanam. The Kelo India initiative was created to restore India's sports culture at the grassroots level by creating a strong system for all sports. As the attorney of the Department of Physical Education, what are the outcomes they made? Uh, Thank you, sir. This is Sharika with cameraman Honey Sebastian from Marian College, Kutika. Kelo India Center under Sports Authority of India has assigned a badminton trainer, Mr. Jishnu Anil Kumar, who is a national player as well as a South Indian gold medalist. Recently, he won silver medal in Olympic Games conducted by Kerala State Olympic Association. Also, his trainee, Ausepichan VM of 2nd BCOMC won the bronze medal in the same. Hello, sir. Sir, can you share your experience as a badminton coach as well as a Thank you, sir. This is Hani Sebastian from Marian Institute of Management. A friendly cricket match of the faculty members of Marian College Kutikanam was held yesterday under the auspices of Marian College Students' Council and the Department of Physical Education. Team of youngsters, Juventus won the match by nine wickets against Marian veterans. The match became a special occasion as the students were able to see their teachers on the pitch. Once again, headlines. Multiple explosions heard in Kyiv, Ukraine says 137 civilians and soldiers killed so far. IFFK to kick off on March 18th. Any sustainable innovation should be a fine blend of art and technology, says Mr. Suresh Nambudiri, the chief director of Aspire Technologies, Pune. Renowned Malayalam actress KPSC Lalida leaves off screen. Kelo India Center to build young players at Marian College, Kutikanam. Marian Juventus wins the friendly cricket match. This is Sultana Hamid signing off.